February is American Heart Month, dedicated toward raising awareness about heart disease, the leading cause of death in the U.S. And one thing you should definitely be aware of is that it's an equal opportunity illness. Here with an explanation and details on prevention is Dr. Stephen Gubin, cardiologist with the Stern Cardiovascular Foundation. Dr. Gubin, thank you for joining us. Many people think that heart disease is a man's problem. Is this true? Thanks for having me, Joe, but that's absolutely not true. Um, cardiovascular disease is the number one cause of death in both men and women. Actually, more women die of heart disease each year than men. Doctor, what are some of the most common causes of heart disease? Um, most common cause of um, cardiovascular disease is coronary disease, which is narrowing of the arteries to the supply of blood to the heart, uh, stroke, which is caused by decreased blood flow to the brain, hypertension, and if your heart comes weak, you can develop uh, congestive heart failure. Are women more likely to die of breast cancer or heart disease? Uh, despite all the education, m many women still fear breast cancer uh, more than heart disease. But uh, postmenopausal women are nine times more likely to die of heart disease than breast cancer. Um, more women die of heart disease than all female cancers combined. Uh, every 14 minutes, a woman dies of um, breast cancer, and every minute, a woman dies of heart disease. What are the risk factors for heart disease? I like to think of risk factors as non-modifiable and modifiable. Non-modifiable risk factors which you, can, you don't have any control over, such as age. As we age, your risk of heart disease increases. Women are somewhat protected until after menopause, and we think this is probably secondary to estrogen. But after they go through menopause, women rapidly catch, catch up with men. Women that go through premenopause early, either surgically or naturally, are at increased risk for heart disease. You also, um, family history is very important, a risk factor. If you have a mother or sister who's had heart disease at less than 65, or a father or brother who's had heart disease at less than 55, that's a risk. We also have what we call modifiable risk factors, and these are risk factors which you control. And these are very important because the more risk factors you have, the greater your risk. But if you improve your risk factors, you can decrease your risk of heart disease. Um, the first risk is um, to think about smoking. Smoking is a significant risk factor for women. Um, even if you smoke two cigarettes a day, it's an increased risk, but it's never too late to stop. If you stop smoking, even if you smoke for many years, your risk of heart disease decreases. Also, cholesterol is real important. It's very important for women to know their numbers. Your total cholesterol should be less than 200. Your LDL, which is the lousy cholesterol, we like for this number to be less than 100. The HDL, which is the happier, healthy cholesterol, we like for it to be f over 50, but the higher, the better. The triglycerides, which are the fat in the blood, we like for this number to be less than 150. Also, hypertension is a uh, modifiable risk factor. We, we, women should strive to have a blood pressure less than 120 over 80. As the top number, which is the systolic blood pressure, or the diastolic, which is the bottom number, increases, so does your risk for heart disease. Also, diabetes is an important modifiable risk factor, both insulin-dependent and non-insulin-dependent. It's very important that you get blood sugar, your blood sugar under control. You know, the risk of a diabetic having a heart attack is the same with someone who's already had a heart attack who's not a diabetic. Also, obesity and physical inactivity is another modifiable risk factor. People, women that are overweight have increased risk for hypertension, diabetes, high blood pressure. Um, and also physically inactive women are two times greater risk for heart disease than are women that are active. Birth control pills, if you take birth control pills and you smoke, that's a no-no. It gets very dangerous or high risk for a cardiac event. And also stress and depression is a modifiable risk factor in women. Um, you know, I know, I know that most women are stressed, but it's very important because stress and depression can have an effect on your heart health. What are some of the things that women can do to decrease the risk of heart disease? I think it's very important for women to be very proactive, know the signs and symptoms of heart disease, uh, see their doctor on a regular basis, and realize that some of their symptoms that sound atypical may be significant. They need to you know, see their doctor if they're concerned. They also need to exercise 30 to 60 minutes a day. They need to have a well-balanced diet, try to avoid salt and sh excessive amounts of salt and sugar, uh, maintain a healthy weight, don't smoke and make sure they control those modifiable risk factors such as high blood pressure, diabetes, 
and high cholesterol. Are there any past prevention recommendations that haven't stood the test of time? Yeah, we no longer recommend that women take vitamin E, folic acid, or beta carotene to prevent a cardiac event. We also don't recommend that women take a prophylactic aspirin if they're less than 65, if they don't have heart disease. And we initially thought that hormonal treatments such as estrogen would be very beneficial in preventing heart disease in women postmenopausal, but this hasn't panned out. Dr. Stephen Gubin, thank you for joining us today on Smart Medicine. Thank you.